First of all, we're very, very proud of our fan base. Uh, I knew that our, our Toledo fans would show up in full force for this game, and we greatly appreciate the tremendous atmosphere and uh, that they provided today. It was outstanding. You know, I, I was disappointed that we got off to the start that we did because, you know, you know, look at the second half and even the second, third, and fourth periods. You know, in the second half, we're, we're only lost by five if you take the third and fourth period alone. And then we actually won the second half or the second period. So it, the story of the game was really the first quarter, and we, we let things kind of get away from us. But, you know, I think the good thing about this game is it's a win win no matter what. Uh, we learned a lot about ourselves in this game, we guarded some pretty incredible players. Uh, Brianna Turner is one of the best centers in the country, and she's a handful. Uh, she got us in some foul trouble early on. Sophie Rieger picked up two fouls, I think, in a matter of a minute. Um, so it was tough to keep a big body on her. But I think the good thing is we learned a lot about ourselves today. We learned that, you know, when we play intelligently, we can stay with the team that's pretty good. And, uh, you know, I think we can take some confidence from that. We can also understand that how valuable turnovers uh, are, the, taking care of the basketball are, is because we had 28 turnovers. And to stay even as close as we did with 28 turnovers it was pretty remarkable. We've got to take better care of the basketball against great teams. And that would have helped us tremendously. Uh, but unfortunately, we didn't. But I think we're going to learn a lot from it. I can't wait to watch film and, and show some things that will help us get better in the future. I think one thing that Notre Dame doesn't get enough credit for is everybody talks about what a great offensive team they are, but they are a tremendous defensive team. You know, their length, their athleticism, and then, you know, you get by somebody and you've got Turner waiting on you to block your shot uh, on the other end. So, you know, they're, they're a very difficult team uh, because of their length and their quickness at certain positions. Uh, you know, Allen does a great job with ball pressure. Um, it, it makes it difficult. We didn't always, our timing wasn't always exactly what we wanted it to be, and we anticipated that. Uh, we tried to do some things to counter it, uh, but I do think at times we were a little rushed, maybe a little bit further out of where we normally catch it, and that disrupted us enough to cause a turnover. Playing against a UCLA, playing against a Notre Dame, playing against a Dayton team, you know, we've had some great games. We, even, you know, St. Bonnie was an NCAA tournament team. Uh, so this team has faced kind of, they've been, they've been through it. And the good thing is I think we've come out a better team because of it. We've learned that we've got some depth. We've learned that, you know, we've got some things still to work on, which is never a bad thing. Uh, because I do think you have to remain humble in order to get better. And uh, I think this team has some, a great future ahead of us. But I do hope that we'll do one thing for ourselves before the Christmas break, and that's end on a good note uh, of our non-conference slate. We need to make sure that we stay focused and that we're ready for a, De a Detroit team that would love to come into Toledo and beat us. You know, I, I think one thing it's, it's great about what Notre Dame did today is it wasn't just a one and out over there in South Bend and see you later. It was, yes, we will return. And those are the games we love to have because we owe that to our fan base. Uh, we owe that to all the people who paid money all season long to come watch our program to bring quality opponents in here. And so we said yes because I'd, I wanted this day to happen where we could bring them in and, and show our fans how much we appreciate them by playing a high-quality opponent. That's what they for them, but well, they it, it says a lot, and I think that's who Coach McGraw is. You know, she's one of the greatest coaches in our game, uh, but also somebody that's willing to, you know, she took her team up to Mount Pleasant. Uh, you know, she's brought her team into Toledo. She's not afraid to take her team places. There's, there's, some, there's some coaches out there that don't do that, and, or they'll do what I said before in that they want a guarantee and that's it. Uh, so we very much appreciate that because I'm not a big fan of guarantees. Uh, I'd rather have a team return uh, because it's awesome to bring them in here. And our fans came out in full droves. Well, there's a lot of them that say no, you know, because they just don't want to come here. It is very frustrating. You know, if in, in, uh, you know I've told Mike O'Brien this in the past. If, if we used to have a map that was laminated, and I used to highlight everybody that said no. And I took it to Mike one time, and it looked like a bomb had fallen on a six-hour radius uh, because we were trying to explain in a visual term of how hard it was to schedule. And so anytime you can get some games, and you know, one thing that's great about Detroit turning over in coaches is that we've got somebody that's a former Toledoan uh, that said yes. And so we've got another local team on the, on the slate, which is great. We had Notre Dame, that's great. Dayton, Cleveland State. You know, we want to play some of these local teams because if not in the non-conference, you're wearing out your team. You know, you don't want to be trekking all over America before you play in the MAC. You don't want your team exhausted. Plus, we're, we're at finals week. You know, we don't want to be going really far away this week, uh, home or away, just because, you know, you, your kids are tired. They just got off exam week. At the same time. We take it as a compliment, but I, love, I wish more people would say yes for the better of the game uh, because, you know, it is, it is better for the game. We need to all be willing to do that. That's why we're not afraid to go to Notre Dame. We're not afraid to go to, you know, even out in this tournament to play UCLA, and we've done a lot of that in the past. 
I think at times, you know, we did some good things. You know, we did force 17 turnovers you know, against a top two team in the country. So I think there's a positive there. I think what makes it very difficult is we don't really have, you know, I thought at times Kayla did a good job against Turner, but when at times not, and at times we had to bring help. Well, when you bring that help, now there's a three point shooter sitting over there wide open and eventually they found her. Uh, Mabry was the beneficiary of a lot of that. So, you know, I think the difficult thing about not being able to match up sometimes man for man is that you're giving up something. And at times, you know, at times I thought we'd played defense pretty solid for about 25 seconds. And under that, I wish we had a stat for that. In the last five seconds of the shot clock, how many times they, because I mean, there were a lot today where they found a great shot under five seconds that was just like a backbreaker. And, you know, it's tough when your team's played hard for 25 of the 30 seconds. Uh, but that's what great teams do. And that's what we need to learn how to do as well. Anything else, Patricia? Thanks for coming out, guys.